The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. And a Merry Christmas to all. As most of you know, the movie Trading Places, filmed in Philadelphia, was filmed at Christmas time in 1983. Let's take a quick look here at the DAX. As you can see on this four-hour chart, uh, we've been in a tiny bit of a downtrend, and we've had a couple of higher bottoms here recently. Uh, it's a holiday, so who knows what's going to happen. I do want to mention that on January 2nd, 3rd, we're going to have the tightest uh, selection of the the um, the uh, full moon and uh, apogee and uh, what else was it? There was all of them. They're all coming together within one degree. And Norm Winsky uh, said this doesn't happen very often. So we're expecting a lot of things to happen on January second and third. That's uh, well, but that's you know down the road. Okay, let's try to see if we can get a couple of these charts up in the den. They're saying they're having a little bit of a rough time. I want to put up this weekly chart from our good friend across the pond, Mr. Alan Smith. We'll put this up here. Hopefully, we'll be able to see it. I've had a, I had a really nice program planned today, folks, for the Bitcoin. I spent about an hour and a half on it last night. And uh, right before the show started, about 10 minutes before the hour, uh, my, uh, my computer... Uh, knocked out on me and I had to reboot everything and I lost everything that I had for that show. So I do want to mention, you know, that we were looking at that price of uh, 19000 and change. We had that huge uh, three drive to a top pattern in Bitcoin. Uh, we're now traded all the way down to uh, 11, 000, or 12000 And the futures, of course, have gone a little bit below, but the futures are, are pretty thin, folks. Uh, there is a, uh, if you look at the trading on those, uh, there's a lot of spaces in between the trades, but at least it's starting to gain momentum. Uh, we're seeing that Goldman Sachs is coming out with a group of ETFs for them, I guess, and uh, the uh, New York Stock Exchange is going to come out with uh, their ETF for it. So it's going to have some great problems. Um, it looks like it could have legs, but believe me, when you go from, you know, uh, a couple of, well, from 50 cents a share, you know, to almost $20,000 a share, uh, that does have some of the earmarks of something that's not happened before. I don't think we've ever had a move like that, folks. Um, that's uh, the way it looks to me. And remember, there's 12,000 of these cryptocurrencies. So some of them are going to make it and some of them are not. But there's, the Internet allows so much bad information to come out that, you know, you've got to be extremely careful. Uh, John Jameson is going to have a really good letter on this starting right after the first of the year, the Jameson letter. Uh, John really knows this stuff. He's been involved with these for quite a few years. Uh, he was one of the first people involved in the Internet when he was a young man in college over in the U.K., so that'll have some really uh, good information. He was selling all of his, well, what he did in the Bitcoins was he was rolling over his Bitcoins into the small cryptocurrencies that were trading for under a dollar a share. He was buying them at, you know, five and ten cents uh, a share. They Some of those rallied up uh, five and six times. They rallied up to, one of them rallied all the way up to a dollar a share. And uh, so there, there's it's the wild, wild west in there. And I, and if you put some money in it, make sure it's funny money because you may never see it again. You know, that's uh, that's the main thing. Well, I think the big thing this week, um, you know, we made another new high in the stock market. But uh, I think the big thing this week is what's happening uh, in the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. We want to bring this up here and talk about this chart on the uh, Treasury notes because it's a very, very important uh, I see, Marshall, I don't know if that's the Bitcoin or is that Bit, is that the futures or is that Bitstamp or which one is it? There's like five or six different ones. There can be $1,000 or more spread between the two ones. I'm watching the Bitstamp, so that's, uh, that's the main thing that I'm uh, keeping an eye on. But let's take a look here uh, at where we are here on the um, uh, Tino. By the way, folks, on the Bitcoin, what we're looking for here 
is a uh, we we went let's fi let's figure we went from 500 bucks roughly say 500 bucks to eight to 20 uh, let's say roughly 20,000. So you want to watch for a huge correction. A 38% on that is going to bring it down, you know, a whole lot. You know, you're talking about something in the neighborhood of about, uh, what, 12 around. It could drop easily uh, $12,000 and still be bullish. So what we're waiting for is we want to find a nice pattern that we can trade, like that high that was up there. That was a tradable short pattern with the uh, three drives, but we're not recommending that. You know, that that's just wild, wild west. Let's get on to these notes. This is the weekly chart for the Treasury notes. As you can see, we topped here actually way back in 2012. Uh, we made that secondary high in 2016 where it made the head of the head and shoulders pattern. And we hit that shoulder on the right side here uh, early last year, or early early this past year, and in, in uh, <laughs> let's try it again in September of uh, 2017. That was also a 20 min line, as you can see here, with that big red line through there. It acts as a fulcrum, and that's pushing it down. We're now trading below the 78% level of that move. Um, and folks, if we get a little bit of rally here, try to find a nice place to get short because this has a really strong probability to drop about nine handles, uh, even, yeah, nine handles down here to this 114 level, which will be a 61% uh, retracement on the long-term weekly chart, you know, going back into uh, 2007. So um, that's where it looks like it wants to go. Uh, we've had a really strong move down this week, uh, whether it was related to fundamentals or not. You know, I'm not sure. Now, something big happened overnight in the currencies, but the markets never really react to it. And that is that um, the folks in Catonia, which is uh, the part of Bar Barcelona, have seceded from Spain, I understand, or they're going to. And so we're going to have another country in there. You would think that the euro would have gotten really whacked there, but evidently they're probably going to keep the euro uh, as their currency. That's still something, you know, what we what we still don't know. Uh, another thing that has been amazing this week is the fact that this U.S. dollar has uh, had so much weakness given the fact that our interest rates are, are soaring to the upside, given folks a great deal of reason to be buying our Treasury notes and Treasury bonds to lock in these rates. They're, these are not negative rates, folks. You know, some countries still have negative rates, and here you are getting about 2.5% on your uh, on your 10-year notes and so th that's a pretty good deal what i don't understand is this divergence that's happened uh since uh you know the end of october early november this is this is very very unusual the u.s dollar should be trading a great deal higher than that based on historical more norms because if people buy treasury notes and treasury bonds from a foreign country they have to convert that to u.s dollars to pay for them and that's not happening and i don't understand why but believe me there's a lot of things i don't understand but i'm watching the charts a lot of support in the u.s dollar at that uh, 92 90 level that equates to the uh, high in the euro that we hit last night uh, at 119.05. That was another little ABC 786 retracement, but you know hasn't really done very much. And I doubt what I doubt much is going to happen today because it's going to be one of the lighter trading days of the year, and um, it will be um, be some. But believe me, you can have some tremendous volatility on the. Um, lightest days of the year we've got a break coming up here we get back we're going to talk a little bit about the gold and the silver okay 877-927-6648 the Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar how price volume and time make market profile so unique this hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader you pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free for more information on the Taz profile scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Um, uh, <laughs> I will take a little bit about the, uh, the reason why I'm laughing is someone posted in the room that the first buy on his Bitcoin was at $3,500, which was really a good buy. But I'm thinking, wow, $3,500, you know, I mean, some of these people have bought this stuff for under a hundred bucks. I mean, that's uh, but you know, this could be something really big folks. All I know is you're going to probably see some, some really wild swings, but we're going to be watching it. That's for sure. We've got to find a place. Uh, you know, where we have a lot of patterns coming together. And, you know, that's what we try to find here uh, when we're looking at pattern recognition. There was a whole bunch of them up there at that 19,000, 20,000 level. And with all the hoopla about the exchanges coming in, that was probably an intermediate high. Well, it's already dropped $7,000 in a matter of a couple of days. So that tells you something really big happened. But it's going to be rocking and rolling. Now, I've posted the chart of the uh, uh, gold uh, you'll notice now we're up $34 from the low. We hit a low the other day on the 11th at um, 1200 I'm 12,000 must be like Bitcoin, $1,238 per ounce. And uh, we rallied up to uh, 72 and change. That's $34. Um, silver is still not made. The 61% uh, retracement up here at the uh, $16.32 level. I, I Last time I saw, we were trading around $16.27 in the silver, and that's nothing more than a 382 retracement. The other thing that makes me a little bit suspicious about this being a breakout is the fact that uh, the platinum has made a 61% retracement uh, as of Wednesday, and it sold off for a couple of days. So we are at recommending... Uh, you know, pretty much at some sometimes at uh, seven cents. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you're joking, Marshall, because I, I, Marshall is telling us that uh, Prector recommended it. It's Bitcoin at seven seven cents uh, a share, uh, seven several years ago. Oh, oh, okay, and take profits at eleven cents. Okay, I, I just added that. I don't know if that's true or not. I hope that I, you know, there, there's the old fake news again. I don't know if that's true or not, but I doubt it. Seven cents, it's that's for sure. Get out of here, really? How come he never says anything about it? Usually, well, anyway, let's let the first the first time I heard about Bitcoin, it was about eight or nine dollars, I believe, but. 
I had no idea what, hey, I still don't have any idea what it is. Let's move on to this uh, gold and silver, folks. We have this big move coming here uh, on the, uh, wow, seven cents. Man, that would be worth uh, seven cents to 20,000. That's more than 3% a year, I think, compounded. Holy moly, guacamole! You bought a if you bought a hundred bucks worth of that stuff, you'd have uh, you'd have over a million dollars. So wow. Okay, let's move on. Uh, anyway, I'm very very bullish. Bold, gold and platinum. We've got this really uh, really strong cycle coming in here on January second and third. I would hope that yeah, three percent a minute would be probably close to it or even faster. If we if we get a nice pullback in the gold and silver. Uh, let's let's forget the silver. Let's look at the gold. If we can get about a $17 pullback, which would be a 50% retracement, a $24 pullback would be a 61% retracement. But look to buy it. It'll be very sharp, most probably, and uh, looks like it's going to be the end of the world. But that's the one that you want to really be watching if we do get that uh, in the gold. Now, there's an also a possibility that we that we just ratchet up, and if we take out that 12. Uh, 80 level folks, uh, you know, this all bets are off. This thing could really, you know, really start to rock and roll because this is only the 10th day up. So uh, it's not unusual for these markets to accelerate at these real key levels. And we'll find out, you know, what's happening. We do have a holiday atmosphere uh, today. Uh, we'll be closed. Most of the stuff is closed on Monday, but I'm sure they're going to be having uh, trade. Bitcoin never closes. It, it trades 24 hours a day, seven days a week, sometimes with very small volume. But the big volume on Bitcoin comes over the weekend when the people are at their computers instead of working. So that's another factor that uh, you want to be uh, want to be watching it uh, here. I, if I were, if you were to, to tell me to invest in something 500 bucks, what I would do is I would my first question would be to John Jameson, which of the of the he, he follows about 20 different cryptocurrencies that all trade under a dollar. I'd ask him what are the two best or three best and I'd split it up among the three. And if you catch one, you're going to make a lot of money. If you lose all three, you lose, you know, your whole investment. So I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is that, you know, he swears that this is like the Internet was in 1986. So we're going to see uh, what's happening. Boy, it's sure getting a lot of news, though, ever since the uh, exchange just came in and uh, brought about the thing. that the, I've seen a chart of the exchange traded that I had for you this morning, but there's so many gaps in it, folks, in those January and March futures at the CBOE that it, this is not for the faint of heart. I mean, it uh, it's it's really, really the wild, wild west, and, uh, you know, you know, it's uh, it, it's pretty crazy. I think the easier ones to trade, of course, are the foreign currency markets. And since we're talking about foreign currency, I wanted to talk about one in particular that uh, looks very interesting. For, oh, one thing we have to cover here before we get into that is the copper market, folks. We've, we're almost making a new high in copper. Uh, here's one that we looked at. Uh, we had that big range down, and then we stopped right at that 382 retracement at 295. We're now trading at 323 in copper. That's up almost 30 handles. Uh, so it looks like we're getting ready to at least make a new high uh, up in this area of 325. We're a heartbeat away, and we could certainly do that without any trouble. Now, whether the the gold has nothing to do with copper, folks, because uh, copper is an industrial metal and gold is a precious metal. So there's, uh, you know, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much, you're right, Gator. Sell, sell, sell. Who knows? Anyway, that's what we're keeping an eye on uh, in the copper. It looks like we are getting ready to, uh, you know, break out to the upside. Now, I did want to spend just a few minutes here going over this crude oil because everybody's been watching it uh, here in the room and we want to take a look at it here ever since we made that bottom. You'll notice that we've had these retracements. The first one there on the 18th was a 61% retracement. We had another one on the 19th. We had another one on the 20th. And we had another one on the 21st. Each one of those numbers, folks, from the previous day was an exact FIB retracement, either 61% retracement or 78% retracement. That was every single day since the 18th. And that's one, two, three, four trading days. And here we are in the fifth. So if it's correct, it's not going to get much below 5780. That would be the absolute low you'd be looking at. Below 5780 would break this trend line. Uh, and if you can if you can imagine it being a parallel channel, it fits in there 
uh, very nicely with that program. So as long as we can stay above that 5770, 5780 level uh, in the crude oil, then you've got a uh, you've got a chance uh, for higher prices. And uh, there's even though there's a lot of resistance up here uh, at this uh, fifty nine dollar barrel level, uh, it could still go a lot higher. Remember, the heating oil has already broken out to the upside. It has uh, already exceeded that ABCD structure. So and as it should, because this is one of the strong seasonals that we have in commodities is that heating oil goes up during December. Gee, I wonder why. They must be getting ready for cold weather in uh, January and February. And speaking of cold weather here in the Pueblo, we hit 29 degrees last night here in Tucson. Anything below 30, we don't have to pay property taxes. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. Stay with us and we'll be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we have the gold market getting ready to hit the uh, – let's just put it up here. We've got it right here. We're almost exactly at the 61% retracement now. I posted the platinum uh, chart beforehand, but that 61% retracement comes in around 1275, 1276. We just traded at 1275. I'd really like to see it go popping through to about uh, – uh, 1280 is what I'd be looking at. We still haven't made the, the number in silver, but we're very close. 
1233 uh, 1233 excuse me 16 dollars I believe is the uh, the number in silver and the platinum is uh, also looking like it could be turning so if we have a strong day today this is telling us that we're most probably going to be uh, be looking at something uh, you know really really interesting uh, from a standpoint of uh, longer term forecast. Remember that the, the gold has a really high probability of bottoming in December. Uh, this year it bottomed before Christmas. Sometimes it's after Christmas, but this year it came in on December the 11th, which happened to be one of uh, Norm Winsky's uh, from Astro Trends in Naples, Florida, one of his big days, and um, that has had a heck of a move you know, since that time. And we're also starting to see some of the other commodities beginning to look a little better. I want to bring to your attention one of them that is very, very important. If you like Fibonacci levels, and I know some of you folks that trade the grains do, here we are coming into Christmas Eve, and we have the uh, going back to August when we made a uh, basically a triple bottom uh, in the uh, soybean meal. We have now made a 61% retracement as of today. That came in at three, uh, $313 a ton. We're up about uh, $2 a ton, around $13.15 right now. That's a $200 a ton, so that's $200. So as long as it stays above that 313 it's got a pretty good chance. And we'll, we'll be able to look. Someone's asking, Peek, it's about the gold-silver ratio. Um, you know, I haven't looked at it for years, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't hold. Uh, you know, I don't think it was ever 50 to 1. No, no, let me see, 80. No, because silver, silver uh, when gold was 860, um, well, well, let's put, let, let's, when gold was 860, silver was uh, 49, well, it was 54. So 54, so that's not anywhere close, but it was $1,932 back in, in August of 2011. Gold was 1932 uh, per ounce, and silver was back up to $50. So, no, it hasn't, hasn't been anywhere that. Silver has a big industrial, um, uh, industrial thing, too. Oh, we got a caller from Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, Dave, are you there? Good morning, Larry. How you doing? Very good. Good morning to you, my friend. What can I help you about? Um, I just caught up with a graph the other day of the XAU. Um, the bottom that you had talked about in the gold over the last couple of years, coming in at that December uh, low, when, when you're looking at that, the um, expansions off of that have resulted in a couple of hundred points, I guess, each year on the gold. is. Is that what you're looking at when you talk about the uh, um, the sort of expansion in gold? Yes, that's exactly that's exactly what uh, what we are looking for. Now, the key is uh, the fact that it's coming in at higher bottoms this time. Dave really means a lot because the other ones have always been at major bottoms. In other words, there was a bottom at uh, you know 11:30, another bottom at 10:30, and now we're coming into higher bottoms this year, and that could be uh, very very important. There were actually four ratios there. On uh, what twelve hundred and thirty-eight dollars an ounce, there were four major ratios coming together at that point, and we've moved okay. a little better than thirty-five dollars so far, which isn't much over ten days. That's uh, you know three and a right. half bucks a day, but it's still got a chance. It needs to to get a little bit of momentum going, but um, it still looks pretty good right now. Okay. Um, also, you're talking about uh, bonds, uh, interest rates going up. Is there a correlation between that and uh, an appreciation in gold? You know, Dave, I don't really know. I, well, I've looked at that several times, and what it does is it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. You know, I don't really look at intermarket relationships. I look at each chart separately because that's okay. the one thing that I can control. I, You know, the other, when I start looking at a whole lot of things, it brings in a lot of thought processes that if you're a technical trader, you really don't need. And uh, okay. that's why I, I try to keep it as uh, as simple as possible. I've read uh, John Murphy's book on intermarket relationships, but you know they're like everything else. Sometimes it's uh, you know sometimes it's good, sometimes it isn't. You know you, you just don't really right. know. Right. And lastly, Larry, I just I really want to thank you. There's uh, some books out there, Secret of the Ages, and Mark Douglas. I'm doing audio books on that. I 
I just can't oh, thank great. you enough for that information. And uh, also, you mentioned uh, Den of Thieves going back some time. I had read that before uh, you were leaving with TFNN and, and knowing Mike Milk and uh, just really mm -hmm. – um, kind of brought about the whole financial world in, in my head and just wanted to thank you for all that information and um, for what you do out there. Thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year Merry to Christmas you and your family. You as well, Larry. Take care. Yes, thank you for calling in. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, he, I was uh, I was very lucky to be at Drexel Burnham during the time. Um, uh, I I met Mike Milken twice. I mean, he, he wouldn't know me from um, well, he 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 he, he was a very um, uh, not recluse, but he kept uh, he kept everything close to his vest. He had two bodyguards with him at all times, Dave. So it was uh, he had a little bit of paranoia uh, with him too. He came to work in a a motorhome that was armor plated. And he had a, you know, two bodyguards that came in a limousine behind it. So uh, he had a little bit of a, you know, he, he was a little uh, paranoid, I guess is what you would call it. But, boy, he was successful. Let me tell you, gee, he made a lot of money. Okay, let's move on here uh, and just look at some of these other, th other things that we're paying attention to this morning. Uh, we'll see what's going on. It's really important here on this gold and silver today uh, coming into these numbers because if you believe these numbers, it's something that uh, should be, uh, you know, very, very important. I don't know if we've been uh, able to get above that level by very much. Oh, we hit it exactly. What, did we get 1276 or not? Uh, well, 1275.80. So that's pretty close. We'll see what's happening with some of these others as we as we go through and look uh, look through the show, I've got to try to get my. I had these beautiful charts for you to show you today on a whole bunch of different things uh, in currencies. And uh, believe it or not, right before the market opened, the old thing crashed. If we're looking at the stock indices today, folks, if you're watching the Dow Jones E Mini, uh, we're trading down around uh, 24,773. Uh, there's a big Gartley pattern there at around 24,750. Uh, if that can hold. Uh, this has got a chance, you know, to have an up close. Remember, this is one of the more positive days of the year. Uh, we were very positive all night long up until right before the opening, and then the market uh, started to sell off. That doesn't mean that's where it's going to close. But the key figure that I'm looking at is around, uh, we're getting right there almost now, 24,750 is the number uh, that I'm watching here in this, uh, in the E-mini uh, Dow Jones. So we'll pay attention to that. We're going to pay a few bills and we'll be right back. 877 927 6648. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Thicker Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. 
see the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and I think we have a caller on the line. John, are you there? Uh, oh. Merry Christmas to hey, you and Merry your Christmas listeners. Merry Christmas to you, um, Mr. Z. And and uh, wish you all uh, the very best here these next uh, two weeks with all the family stuff. Thank you. You too, my friend. What can I do for you? Say, I just wanted to uh, chime in on the uh, gold and the silver with you. Um, uh, we're, of course, uh, it's funny. Uh, I know Tom O'Brien, Larry Pezzavento, Steve Rhodes, and David White, probably Basil Chapman, too, all found by uh, opportunities, by ideas that they executed, you, you included, and I'm in that camp as well, on buying gold, silver, and the gold and silver mm -hmm. mining equities. Uh, just wanted to share uh, a hypothesis or a speculation I have and ask if you would comment. Uh, Larry, looking back the past three years, the gold price in December has made these lows starting this year first, uh, 1238 this year, 1125 a year ago, and 1045 two years ago. Um, those lows, higher lows, and the preceding two years, we have highs up at 1360 and 1375. I speculate we formed a bottom and that a rally phase is now in the very early stages in which the gold price moves up in 2018 tests that 1360 to 75 zone and then exceeds it and and uh, uh, sets a situation where the crowd recognizes the gold price is in a bull market of some degree. Uh, that's my speculation. Would you care to comment on what you're looking for and uh, and tell me why I'm wrong if you think I am. No, John, I think you've got it spot spot on, but here's two guys with the same opinion. So, you know, we've got to find someone with a contrary opinion, but I think you're absolutely right. Looking at those higher bottoms that we've had over the last couple of years, all of them coming in December, stopping exactly where it should have at 1238. Uh, you know, we're now 34 by $36 higher. Uh, than that setting right at the 61% retracement of the high that we made, you know, several months ago. Uh, all we need now is a move above the 1285 level, and I think you're going to start to see some acceleration. The problem that I see is that we've been up eight days in a row, and, you know, when you're long and it's up eight days in a row, that's hardly a problem, but that means that you're very close to, was is probably a retracement, and that's why I want to be a buyer on the retracement, and that's going to be a little tricky because, you know, it could come from the 382 or the 61 or the 786. So what I'm watching for is going to a 30-minute chart, hopefully over a period of a couple of days. It uh, sells off quietly, you know, right into one of those numbers. And that's where I will add uh, for the service. And then when it breaks out of that high, 
uh, whatever, if it happens to be 1276 and this one, I'm going to add again because I, I think it's got a chance to really be really big. Someone's asked a question here in the den today, is silver cheap? And I think anytime silver is under $20 an ounce, it's cheap. And here it is at you know, 16, less than 1650. So I always recommend people buying silver rounds. They're, they're beautiful artistic coins. They're one pure ounce of silver and they're not going to bankrupt you because, you know, they're probably not going to go much below 10 if they ever do. But uh, I do like uh, the, the silver medal itself. I think that's a fun thing to look at, especially for, for Christmas gifts and for kids. It gives them a little bit of his, history too. You know, Larry, it's uh, funny you should mention that, uh, on uh, on silver coins, I went and um, I recall it was back. I think it was 2013. After well after the top uh, of silver up at 48 bucks, and it was somewhere down, somewhere in the mid 20s. The uh, uh, the mint, the U.S. mint, um, put out a um, uh, or they they minted and sold to the public a uh, a five coin set uh, 25th anniversary silver eagle set and uh funny funny you should just mention that last uh, line larry i in fact went into the secondary market uh this past fall and uh, bought a couple of those sets to give in fact as christmas mm -hmm. gifts for uh for kids you know yeah, it's a good way for them to get a little bit of history because probably they're going to take the coins out of circulation that have anything to do with politics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly right. Yeah. Um, um, on the silver price, I, I have to share this observation with you. Now, silver made its low in 2015 down at I think it was a 1380, 1360 area. And looking at that weekly and the monthly chart, going back five years now, uh, the low that occurred um, back here in well here in December down at 1566, or that July low down at uh, I think it was the 15 15 15 20 mark. Take those two lows. Uh, look the past five years, Larry. If uh, yeah, it, it's just obvious and it's simple minded, but there is a very uh, there is a very obvious potential. Head and shoulders bottom that has completed. So, um, so all these patterns tell me uh, the long side is very low risk, uh, and I'm just taking the attitude: got to be in it to win it. And uh, if it doesn't win, well, so be it. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, John. That's got a real chance. I mean, uh, I think the key here is uh, today because uh, we're right up against this resistance and I had a real quandary to either sell and to wait and see what's happened and I said well this is one of those times with those three drives patterns and 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 the reaction if it does come you know might only last about an hour you know but here there's the problem that you have John is when you have a bullish scenario you're leaning on one side, you know, as opposed to being, you know, focused on, you know, what's really happening. And that's what I'm trying to do. And it's really difficult because here you are, you know, setting with a, you know, $35, $34 gain. And you say, gee, I don't want to give it, give it much up. But what, what if it goes to 10 times that? Like someone buying Bitcoin at 500 and he sold it at 3,000 thinking he was really smart. And now... It's at, uh, well, still at 12,000. So, I mean, <laughs> you have to wonder, you know, how to do that. So my plan is to see what happens into the first part of the week, uh, right after the first of the year, and then we'll have a pretty good idea. But I'm looking for a potential pullback down to around the 16, at the worst, excuse me, not 16, around 1250 would be the lowest level that I would be looking at for a uh, retracement. That's the 61% retracement of that move. And... Um, We'll, we'll, we'll have a pretty good idea what happens after that. John, there's one other thing that could happen, too. We could be a, totally wrong, and this is the high, because, you know, the market is still in a long-term downtrend. All we're seeing now is a counter-trend bounce on the daily chart. We've got lower highs all the way through there, so we have to be a little, uh, you know, aware of that, too. Yes, uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, playing the devil's advocate, uh, I, like you, always, um, I don't want to, I know where my money's put, but I don't want mm -hmm. to be pig-headed and, um, uh, uh, and ignoring uh, uh, possibilities. And uh, if gold does rally and, in fact, doesn't clear 1360, 1375, but gets up close, that could be a topping pattern, absolutely. 
Um, it could be. Well, hey, listen, we're having a break. When well, you want to stay till after the break, John, can you do that? One last question. Thank you. Yes. Yes, yeah, stay with us after the break. Mr. Z from Philly. We'll be right back. 877 927 6648. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, we're back, folks. We're talking with uh, John from Philadelphia. John, are you still there? I am, uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Larry. One parting question. Uh, I'm going to guess you can't answer that. Uh, this question today, but perhaps you could uh, field it next week. It has to do with Bitcoin and John Jameson, please. Um, sure. Would you ask him to, uh, when you do speak with him, which I know is regularly, to share his view with you about the significance of the Washington Post this past week running a big story saying that Fed coin, quote unquote, will be bigger than Bitcoin. Uh, mm -hmm. Bottom line, my speculation has been for a couple of years, ever since David White did a very good and helpful Bitcoin tutorial back in the fall of 2013, and uh, I thank him immensely and TFNN for doing that at that time. That um, Bitcoin and the crypto uh, cryptocurrency distributed ledger technology 
uh, was prototyping for uh, a next version of, uh, uh, of a monetary system. And, and the Washington Post article seems to point at just that. So I'd be appreciated if you could ask what John Jameson's view on that concept is. That'd be very helpful to know. Well, I will. I talk to him each day, and uh, he certainly follows it very, very closely. But I will uh, pay attention to that um, because I haven't done anything in the Bitcoin other than look at it. I don't understand about 90% of it, but little by little, I'm chipping away, trying to learn a little bit more. But I'm looking at the the uh, the really cheap cryptocurrencies because you don't have to risk very much there. And John's pretty good at picking them out. So that's where the direction I'm going in. I'm looking forward to working closely with him you know, into the new year. But I will be talking to him today, and I'll have that answer for you on Tuesday when we come back. Merry Christmas to everyone, and to all a good night. Thanks a lot, John. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!